We're here today in Coventry, headquarters of Jaguar Land Rover, for the 4x4 in schools world finals. We have teams uh, from around the world, from Australia, South Korea, Portugal, Brazil, and of course all around the UK. All of the students have travelled many miles to get here uh, this week, uh, so we thought we'd do something special. On their first day arrival, they were introduced to the Wasps, which is the Premier Rugby side who are based at the Rico Arena, where these finals are taking place. We also took them locally to Warwick Castle, where they experienced the uh, rich heritage in this area. The culmination of their tour was the trip to the Land Rover Solihull plant to see manufacturing in action. This is my first time in the UK and I'm definitely enjoying it. It's lots of fun. My favourite part of the last two days would probably be uh, visiting Warwick Castle and getting to know heaps of the teams because everyone is so lovely here. You are all world finalists. That's a huge achievement in itself. And for that, I think you deserve a round of applause. pretty good, doesn't it? Have a great day. I now declare the challenge open. This is now getting engineering taught in school, in the classroom, not after school clubs, from the age of 11 right through to 19. So we're giving them a challenge, multidisciplinary challenge, but incorporating mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and in some cases they're using coding and you know taking it around this track and challenging to the, the level that we do is going to really short, sort out the uh, you know the wheat from the chaff as we say. We had to resolve a lot of problems that happened to the car. You would fix one problem another problem would appear. This isn't just a challenge it's a learning process something for our future and we saw that all of this is gonna instead of just being if we win a prize this is already a prize of knowledge that we got for our lives. During a few months, our team learned the importance of the teamwork and how to make a team project go well. This kind of education will help the students more than sitting on the chair, reading books and memorizing things. Our group is made up of four female members and two uh, male uh, members. Uh, in school, they wouldn't really have worked that well um, together in terms of their subjects they were apart, but this has really brought them together. Well, we've learned how to manage a team, how to manage six team members. Uh, we'll learn how to, how to approach sponsors and how to, how to acquire the needed funds for the project. We, we learn how to cooperate with each other, all of us. They're working with kind of um, carbon composites and, and, and things that, that kind of some of the Jaguar Land Rover people are kind of doing at kind of degree level and a, uh, for a master's course. And for us to be able to show that to them uh, in, in classrooms and, and actually get the kit in and, and make it so much more real, uh, it's brilliant. And it just kind of, it means that they've got some real world examples that they, they can see in this competition. But, uh, you know, them applying stuff and, and kind of getting rewards from it. Over the past week or so, it's been great to meet all the teams and we've learned a lot about, you know, where they've come from and it's really exciting to see the differences. I was talking to my colleague earlier about how when we were 15, 16 and we, we'd love a challenge like this and love to get involved because it, it, gets, it gets the youth and the future engineers involved with engineering at a really, really early stage. For me personally, I've learned so much more on sustainability and like how a car actually works. Like before this competition, I didn't know. But now it's shown me a whole new side of engineering and manufacturing, which is really great. And all the students here can get a really great and deep understanding of that. Yeah!